Did you have a word? Well, I gathered that from the way you've been banging on our front door. We do have a doorbell, you know. I'll get straight to the point. I wish you would. Ray and I are going out in a minute. It's about that granddaughter of yours. Which one? Emily or Nicky? I think you know which one. How would I know? I'm not Mystic Meg. Emily, of course. What about her? I think you need to have a word with her. Look, would you please just get to the point and tell me what the problem is? Well, they do say a picture paints a thousand words. What's this supposed to be? Why don't you open it and see? Whoever did this must be sick in the head. I agree. What's this got to do with our Emily? She posted it through my letterbox last night. You saw her? Not exactly. Then what makes you think it was her? I saw her on the parade earlier and she just put one up. You were there when she did it? No, it was already up when I got there, but it was clear she was the culprit. Now let's get this straight. You're claiming that my granddaughter posted these vile, disgusting pictures through your letterbox and then put up an equally sick poster on the parade? Yes. But you didn't see her do either. She all but admitted it to me. When? <laughs> when I confronted her on the parade, she, she was laughing at it. And this isn't the first time she's engaged in harassment of this sort. Oh, come on then. What else are you accusing her of? Oh, first my handbag goes missing. And then someone dumps a load of manure on my drive. And now this. And my car was stolen. She could have been responsible for that as well. You're saying that Emily was responsible for all those things? I think you've got a screw loose. Listen to me. That girl has been completely out of control since her mother left. What's on the shelf before? It's all right, love. Susanna was just leaving. Oh, I certainly am not. No, no, she admits that she's behind this, this, this sequence of abuse. What are you talking about then? Oh, don't stand there as if butter wouldn't melt in your mouth. Stop shouting at me. I'll do more than shout at you if you don't come clean about this. Mummy, stop. That's quite enough. I haven't even started yet. And you're not going to. You've got some brass neck. My son and grandson are dead because of you. You almost destroyed this family, and now you've got the fun to come out here shouting the odds and making all kinds of wild accusations. Ray, will you please show this woman the door? No bother. How do you explain this? Ah, oh, oh, that's disgusting. You're the sick one, showing muck like that to a young girl. Now get out of my house before I do something I'll regret. Take your hands off me. As soon as you've left this house. You're all right, love. Have <sighs> Look, there's no point in me sending you back to school this afternoon in this state. Go and have a lie down. I'll be in a minute. Okay, thanks, Sam. ashamed of yourself. Let's just see what the police have to say about this, shall we? Ha! <laughs> they think you're as balmy as I do. 